Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In this online video session, we will try to learn very interesting concept related to the Android emulator. We'll learn how to run Android emulator without uh, Android Studio from CMD or command line or batch file. Okay, we'll create some batch file or we will try to learn uh, how to start this Android emulator from command line as well. Okay. In day-to-day -day life, uh, we require to deal with the Android emulators because we, uh, while working with the APM automation process, we require to create some Android emulators uh, or simulators in our system to run our AP APM script. Okay, so how we we are we are uh, uh, like launching Android emulators? So first of all, we require to start with Android Studio, uh, Android Studio first. Then what we have to do? Uh, after that, it will take uh, some time because uh, it's uh, taken as per your system configuration. Uh, all your projects and everything will get loaded in Android Studio. After that, uh, uh, when your project it get, uh, is get loaded, then we require to start your device manager section from Android Studio itself. Right, reopening the files. We are preparing for workspace, and yes, your our project is get loaded, and then we require to go here in the, our device manager section. Okay, whatever emulators we have configured in our system, uh, on your inside your SDK, uh, all the emulator list will get show here. Right, when you start your your device manager. Okay, system is taking some time to load all the functionality related to the Android Studio. Device manager is open, right? So here we have one device configured like a Pixel for API 32, which we are dealing with for your automation testing purpose, right? And here we, when we are click here, it will launch our emulator. Okay, so it, it's a lengthy process while working with the uh, emulators because we require to start Android Studio every time, then we need to go device manager, then we need to start our uh, emulator uh, like manually, all these steps, okay? We, and uh, in the latest version of uh, like Android Studio, if you close the, your Android Studio, your emulator also get closed automatically, okay? So overcome this challenge, we learn today without opening this Android Studio, okay? Because Android Studio, whenever you uh, open this Android Studio, your system configuration is not that much good. It will uh, execute in background and uh, maybe chance your script gets slow and your system is also gets slow, okay? So we will learn, we not open this Android Studio, directly open this uh, emulator without opening this Android Studio. So, okay, so first of all, uh, let's try to do with command prompt, okay? So in CMD, uh, how to open our uh, emulator using uh, command line. So first of all, let's go to the CMD. Okay, here we have to go. And we require to con like navigate till your uh, SDK path. So my SDK path install here. So let's go to the D drive, uh, C drive here. If you are using Windows machine, then go to our C drive. If you have uh, like uh, any other operating systems, then let's check where this path is uh, located in your system, like user, then the your username, then this app data, and in that app data, the local folder. In this local folder, navigate till Android, Android folder, and in this SDK folder, we require this uh, path till tools folder. Okay, this is a tool folder and here we have an emulator. Whatever emulators we have configured, all these are stored in this tool folder. Okay, Wait. let's copy this path from here till tool, tool folder, go to your command prompt, okay, uh, in CMD and uh, just type like a CD and then paste that path here so that we, you will redirect to the tools folder uh, path. Okay, if you are using any other operating system, you require to open terminal or uh, whatever we require. As I am using Windows, so I am going to this uh, command prompt. Okay. Whenever you navigate to this tools folder, then we first of all, we require to check how many uh, emulators or emulator devices we have configured under this SDK tools folder. Okay. To get that all the list of emulators, we need to type a command like emulator, emulator, then space the list of all device list 
and then list and then hyphen avds okay it will return us uh, just hit, hit enter so it will return us whatever device we have configured under this folder uh, emulator devices all the list of that devices so we have only one emulator device configured here so it will show in pixel 4 api 32 perfect so now we require to launch that device through this command prompt okay so to launch that device to command prompt we have to uh, navigate one command. Uh, okay, so let's type that command here emulator, emulator, then space uh, hyphen avd. Okay, then pixel. Uh, we need to pass the device name here for like API 32, which is one device we have configured, right? And just hit enter. It will take some time as per your configuration of your system and it will start the emulator from command prompt only. Okay. Yes, emulator, uh, it's working. Okay. If you have a good configuration in your system, it, it will directly immediately open. Okay. As per your system configuration, it will, it will take a time to load your device. Okay. Or anything uh, open or we are not going to open from this dev device manager from Android Studio or anything. And here is no any background Android uh, Studio. Uh, open as well okay we are directly going into the command prompt and just hitting by hitting this command we are able to open in this emulator perfect and we can directly automate just minimize this command prompt and we can uh, whatever automation we require to perform on the device we can easily do that things so this is the one way we can uh, open emulator so whatever we have done in this command prompt, we have to do that uh, on daily basis if you want to open this emulator, like we need to pass that command uh, emulator adv and uh, like uh, emulator uh, hyphen avd and then pixel name, like uh, whatever emulator name you have and we require to hit that enter, right? So overcome this challenge also, we can create one bad, bad file for this and just uh, Double click on that batch file, you, this emulator will directly get open, okay? So how to do that? Let's uh, first of all, uh, uh, stop this device from here. Okay, I'm closing this device from here. Okay. Yes, uh, let's close this command prompt as well. And now let's open one notepad. Whatever we have done uh, in CMD, uh, all those things we can done through a uh, batch file as well. Okay. So here just type CD, then paste that path uh, till your tool folder. Okay, till your tools folder. Okay. Then uh, uh, just press enter. Okay. And here type emulator, whatever command we are passing, just AVD. And then uh, we have passed like a pixel. This is our device name, like for API 32. This is your device name, right? This is the command we require to pass, okay? And we require to pass, uh, first of all, it automatically executing this command on command prompt using this batch file. So first of all, it will go to that location using the CD. And after that, it will uh, navigate to the, till this uh, emulator, whatever emulator we have. If you have uh, another emulator, you can create a multiple batch files with the name of that emulator, right? So we have a pixel four. So I will create a batch file with uh, this pixel four emulator name, okay? So just save as, uh, uh, just location, provide location here. I'm uh, just saving in, it on desktop to your, uh, for to showing uh, demo purpose. So pixel four, this is my emulator name, pixel four dot bat. Okay, we need to give the extension as a dot bat file, pixel four emulator dot bat file. So where, whenever I click on save, the pixel four emulator and bash file will create it on your desktop. Okay, so let's close this one from here and uh, close all those things. And let's check pixel four is created here or not, bash file, yes, pixel four bash file is created here, right? Now we not required to go to CMD or not required to go your Android uh, studio to open device manager and then open emulator or not required to uh, uh, hit that command in CMD as well. Just double click on this pixel uh, for uh, bash file and it will uh, do all the stuff, whatever you, you, you want to open emulator. 
okay it will executing that all the cmp commands emulator 4 here if you have multiple emulators we can you can just create uh, this batch file for um, all those all those emulators uh, we want it will out any bit of this uh, and it will not hamper your system so your system will be run faster and your script also executed faster because we, we are just using uh, uh, sdk tools emulator we are not opening android studio perfect emulator is started successfully okay do it practically by yourself guys if you do have any question related to this this is very interesting concept okay and uh, you can just comment out me okay and don't forget to like share and subscribe our automation lab uh, and uh, also share your friends so that they can also learn all those things practically okay so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care